Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, could I interest you in a delicious cold brew? Bob Barley Cold Brew is an 8% coffee stout from Baffin Brewing Company in St. Clair Shores, Michigan. The last Baffin beer that I got a chance to try was Mango Unchained, which coincidentally ended up earning my number two spot of 2019 beers. Now I'm happy to see that Baffin has released another beer into distribution. This time it's a coffee stout. That's a nice feather to add into the whole distribution cap, another arrow in their quiver, so to speak. Now I've got to temper my hype though and go into this with a clear head. So let's just get into it and take a look at the label and then get it into a glass. Fun fact, cold brew coffee tastes sweeter than hot coffee because cold brew coffee has less acid but it actually contains more caffeine. So when I go for coffee, I usually go for cold brew because I like that caffeine. All right, so let's take a look at the label here. It's a really cool label. Um, Baffin has had a, kind of an interesting label design here, but they're, it's, they're, they're very similar. Now th they all have the same font choice, which I think adds to it. I mean, that's always good to have a universal font. And this one's no different. It's it's a white label, whereas Baffin Unchained was like a orangish kind of yellowish label. This one says Baffin Brewing Company, Bob Barley Cold Brew Coffee Stout, brewed with local roasted coffee. And the picture here is like a sniffer glass with a Chemex, like a drip coffee Chemex, uh, with the, all the whole nine yards, the the leather tied around the the neck and everything. It, it's a really cool. Uh, label it shows you know that they're really paying a lot of homage to this whole coffee thing and then on the side here it has the dog it says baffin bob barley is brewed with the finest hand selected coffee from a small batch roaster in detroit michigan roasted to perfection we cold brew the coffee directly into the beer to create a smooth velvety feel with a bold stout taste so that is and then they have their mission statement saying you know that their hobby turned into obsession and then it says Come visit us at our tap room in St. Clair Shores, Michigan. This is 12 fluid ounces, 8% alcohol by volume. But yeah, this label really, you know, ex they explain what the label is right on the side here. It's like a Chemex, a drip coffee. It drips right into the into the, the beer, into the stout. And that's really all there is. There's the, the government warning. But, you know, really basic, just down to earth, not a whole lot of flashy stuff. It's got a really cool kind of iconography or, or, you know, a graphic on the, on the front of this. And this was actually, this was actually canned on October 21st of last year. That's about, I'm um, recording this in early March. So that's about five months of my master's, well, almost six months, but that's fine. A stout, you know, you can let a stout sit for a little bit. They're not, they don't need to be as drank, drank as fresh as IPAs, but I have a a little bit different glass. This is more like a little uh, Belgian kind of beer glass, but we're going to go ahead and use that anyways. I'm sure it'll taste just fine. Let's go ahead and crack this beer and get a nose on the can. Oh, it's rising up. I'm getting a lot of, lot of coffee smell. I don't know if you can see from the front angle, but I'm getting the, the beer kind of rose up through the can. So that sometimes happens when a beer sits in a can for a long time. So, but I, I, I'm not going to, I'm still going to go through the, the paces here. But yeah, getting a good coffee aroma here. A little bit of a sweet kind of coffee aroma, though. Let's go ahead and pour this. It's really dark coming out of the can. Got a little bit of a reddish-brown hue to it. And I think this one's going to really suds up quite a bit. So I'm pouring it relatively slow so I can get as much of the beer in here as possible. Because that is a whole lot of head. And I probably still have about a quarter of a can left in here to pour still. But yeah, it was coming out of the, when it came out of the can, it was like a darkish brown, had a little bit of a red highlight to it. I'm going to go ahead and hold it up to the light and kind of judge the, the color of it and then maybe pour the rest in. But that's, you can see from the overhead, it's really super compact, really tight bubbles, a dark coffee colored head, uh, darker than tan, darker than khaki, more like a coffee colored kind of head, what you would expect to see from a stout like this. Holding it up to the light here, it's very dark. Uh, I'm not seeing anything through it whatsoever um it just looks like a you know really good stout so let's go ahead and put a better nose on on the glass here yeah more of that coffee aroma comes through here it has a bit of a sweet smell to it too i'm not going to say it's something like uh like a milk stout i don't think it's quite that sweet of a smell but it has really strong coffee aroma and that's that's a good thing so let's go ahead and pour a little bit more 
I'm going to stop right there. Maybe periodically I'll pour a little bit in, but it's just got, the head just is really good looking. It's not dissipated much as you can see from the overhead or as you could see from it previously. Ready to dive right in. So cheers. I'm going to get a whole bunch of foam on my mustache. Wow, really, really strong coffee notes. It, it does um, connotate like a really strong cold brew coffee flavor. I'm getting a lot of coffee flavor. I'm going to pour a little bit more in here, maybe finish off the can and uh, get back to it. And that subsequent pour, a lot of bubbles kind of rose up. The mouth feels on the medium side. It's not thick. It's not thin. It's not really light. And it's not on the syrupy end. It's, it's right in the middle. It's a little bit... Um, Got a little bit of a fluffy mouthfeel, but that could have been due to a lot of this head that's still on the on the glass. First thing that comes to mind when drinking this is coffee. I mean, coffee is the overwhelming characteristic in this beer to be expected from something called Bob Barley Cold Brew Stout. It has a lot of that coffee flavor. There is a little bit of... Uh, well, actually, on the tail end now, a lot of that roasted malty kind of flavor, I think a lot of roasted coffee kind of flavor in there as well. At the beginning, that first taste is a little bit more of a sweet coffee, but as you take the swallow, it settles on your tongue. It's more of that really dark, roasty coffee flavor. There's a tad bit of um, almost like an alcohol kind of flavor in there. It's not super strong. It's just kind of in there. It's a little bit, it kind of sits on, on my tongue as I drink it. Um, but really just overwhelmingly coffee flavors. If you know a coffee lover, maybe a coffee stout lover, this is a really good coffee stout to try because it is so just chock full of coffee flavor. I mean, that's really an overwhelming taste of what you get in this. There are, like I said, really sweet notes. There's a little bit of a chocolate sweetness that comes through, a dark chocolate that comes through as well. And that coffee flavor just enhances all of it. So the little bit of that kind of chocolate that you get is really just enhanced by the coffee. Yeah, another really good one from Baffin. I mean, this is 8%. Like I said, it had that little alcohol taste in it, but it's not overwhelming. I, I think that I could drink this and know and say to myself, this doesn't taste like a 6%. It doesn't taste like a 6.5%. definitely has, feels like it's a little bit higher octane beer, but, um, you know, it's not overwhelming. That alcohol taste is in there, but it's just going to let you know that it's there. It's not anything that's overwhelming or overpowering. That coffee flavor just kind of any kind of alcohol taste that's in there, that coffee flavor just really boosts it and, and really overpowers any kind of alcohol flavor that's in there. But, you know, a discerning, if you're a discerning taste, if you're really sitting and analyzing it, you can, I pick up on a little bit of an alcohol kind of tinge to it. But other than that, I don't have any complaints on this. It's just, it's a coffee lover's stout. I mean, if, if you love coffee or if you know somebody that loves coffee, this is a really great stout for someone that's really into that to try. But if you know somebody that doesn't like coffee or doesn't like coffee stouts, I would steer clear of this. But me personally, I would definitely not have any problems picking up another, you know, can. I bought singles of this, but I wouldn't have any problem picking up several cans of this one. All right, friends, that has been Bob Barley Cold Brew Stout from Baffin Brewing in St. Clair Shores, Michigan. If you find yourself in their tap room, let them know you saw their beer right here. So have you had this beer or do you know of any smaller breweries you'd like to see get some, some exposure on the channel here? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are. And most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.